Welcome to D Beaver's YouTube channel. If you've watched our previous videos about SQL scripting for beginners, you already know how to create new tables and how to add records to them. Today we'll tell you about the delete statement and how to use it correctly. We assume you have installed the dBeaver community app and created a sample SQLite database. If you don't know how to download and install the application, follow the link in the description or click on the tooltip on the right-hand side of the screen. The delete command in SQL is a part of the data manipulation language, a sublanguage of SQL that allows data modification in databases. This command is used to delete existing records from a table. Using this, you can either delete specific records based on a condition or all of the records from a table. Let's look at the syntax of this statement. You need to start from the delete from keywords, then write the table name, enter the where keyword, and define the condition that matches the records you want to delete. Delete from table name where condition. Please be careful when using the delete statement. If you run it with no conditions in the where clause, all of the records from the table will be deleted. But if you use dBeaver, you will receive a warning about possible data loss and your query will be executed only if you click the OK button. Let's try to delete one of the records from the customer table of our sample database. First, we'll execute a select query to get the entire table. Select asterisk from customer. Now, let's delete the last record from the table. In case there are two customers with the same name, we can use the value in the email column, which definitely contains a unique value. To delete the last row, we need to run the following query. Delete from customer where email equals puja underscore srivastava at yahoo.in. Please pay attention to auto-suggest, which will help you significantly simplify and speed up writing queries. After writing the keyword delete, you can press control space and select columns from the drop-down list. Using the same shortcut, you can select a column to set the where condition, and it will also help you quickly choose the value after the equal sign. After completing the query, you'll see a message that one record has been successfully removed from the table. Let's run another select query to ensure everything is done correctly. Select asterisk from customer where email equals puja underscore srivastava at yahoo.in. As you can see, there is no longer a record of this email in the table. It means that it was successfully deleted from the table. If you're new to scripting, we recommend using manual or smart commit mode when performing unsafe operations, such as deleting a record from a table. To learn more about transactions in dBeaver, watch the video, which is linked in the description. Great job! Now you know how to delete records from your database table by executing SQL queries. In our next video in this series, We'll teach you how to use other basic statements. If you want to be sure that you don't miss the next chapters, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.